Did you guys want to see what's in this bag? Or that bag? Or this bag? Or this box? Or this box? That's Aiden. I'm Dan. We have to do this. Let's see what we did first. Here we go. Okay, well, here we go. Our first stop is into Meat Bullseye, and let's go check out this Target. I am looking for something specific, and I see these brand new WWE Pops, uh, Rikishi, and uh, yeah, I mean, they got a couple. I knew they were hitting stores. I'm not a WWE fan, but I know there's a lot of people of you that are out there that uh, do. So that's their kind of their end cap. Uh, the ones over here that we're looking for. Uh, yeah, don't mind my little head hanging out there. But uh, I was looking for, there's more of the WWE pops. Um, yeah, I guess they just kind of have some of the same ones. Kind of seeing... Uh, if there was any more of those Black Light Deadpools left, uh, that was a week ago. Of course, they're done and gone. Double check kind of back there. This is my little way to do it. I did, of course, check, check. You know where these shoes are going. You know about it. Let's go see what we got. There's one in here Aiden wants, so we're going to get it. With the exchange, you know it is always a voiceover. And so I've been here many, many times. Not going to show you guys the whole thing. Uh, of course, they're little... Mid-grade piece. I don't know. Some of them they've even just put fifteen dollar pops in there, but whatever. Uh, then they stack them up on top, and uh, I'm still kind of looking for some things. Uh, a couple of you guys were having some requests, uh, as well as the whatnot streamers. But I thought this was pretty cool how they had all of the Transformers uh, whole given them their little section. Um, and of course, I love my Transformers pops. Aiden's been looking at some of those lately. Uh, and then kind of into Transformers into video games. You know, uh, video game pops are always hot. Uh, that's a sticker you do not see anymore. Um, I, uh, I'm trying to remember what we got that was uh, only Best Buy. But, I don't know, lots and lots of out-of-box pops here. Uh, the Flash one there's kind of neat looking. The Kid Flash there, that's pretty cool from the show. Um, yeah, I was kind of surprised at all of their Marvel out of box there. The DC out of box. Um, I don't know. I'm going to stop over here to Half Price Books. Uh, let's help this guy out with the door. You see, he was having a problem. Every time I'm in here, they always have something new. They're getting in things differently. Um, I was at the store right next to it, so I decided to come in. I mean, they just kind of have just regular stuff here, but did find one that is looking pretty cool here and that is uh that troy barnes up there on top let's go back yeah uh okay fifty dollars not bad uh this is the what daniel glover daniel glover. yeah so we're gonna swing over into hot topic see what they've got there i don't think anything new i did get the new maleficent but uh just maleficent no aurora um but that's okay i mean it's hot topic so from here uh we'll just kind of check out i don't know demon slayer is always something that you know people are looking for i was not really but here's a little bit more of them they created their own stopped into fye well, was quite surprised but right next to that is the box launch so uh checking these out i was hoping I, that you would guys said i mean i ordered supposed them to online, post on instagram if they got in new pops uh them. they didn't do the post order them online. And look at that Especially there they are I mean, you got a whole stack of them jeez <sighs> I don't know. Uh, but they did get the Maleficent as well. The uh, I'm kind of torn on this Obi-Wan. That's kind of neat. The Jar Jar is neat. Uh, but here is that Maleficent, the Aurora, and, uh, you know, the dragon. So uh, this price just shocked me. I will cover this more a little bit later. But uh, we're going to head over into Books A Million real quick. Um, they're redoing their whole kind of pop section here at this one. Um, when I called the other day, they said, well, come on in. We're not really, uh, going to go, you know, I forget what they said. I don't know why I started telling that story, but I am looking for some pops here. They usually have some stuff. <laughs> wanted Sprite for a dollar. They can't even give that pop away. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys see? Do you see anything fun here that you're looking for? Um, I mean, this is a cool little sticker. Uh, the Dragon Trading Exclusive. And then it's a glow. And then, of course, the Specialty Series sticker. Always 
good ones. I'm checking out their little area. We were looking for another one of those Godzillas um, now that we've been kind of doing it. So just showing it off here. They still have a ton of those books, a million uh, Star Wars 330 seconds. Um, I was surprised to see they only had the Wicked Witch left. Um, but those pops are selling out everywhere. So if you are on the fence about your Wizard of Oz pops and you do not have them yet, make sure you're getting them because they are selling out even on Funko site and more. Um, yeah, just showing you guys here. Ooh, Blue Beetle Pops. Just kidding. Just kidding. I actually did like the movie, but not <laughs> not enough to re-even buy it, let alone I don't even think we're going to stream it again. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, just kind of showing you guys here. I thought it was neat. You know, some of you guys don't have a Books of Million Aranja. Here's this uh, Ichigo. It is a reprint special edition. They're selling it for $25. It is a $12 PPG. I don't get what they're doing here, so... Enough with this store. Uh, let's go over to the pop shop one more time real quick. I'm actually still... Um, they had a pop here that Aiden and I were looking at. And then, yeah, Sarah for the end pops. Kind of neat. You don't really see those often. Um, what was I actually looking for? These Titanic pops were something kind of cool. That Joker was one. Um, they should have marked it as box damage. But that is... I'm actually trying to find that Joker. Um, I've had him pull it out, but yeah. Ah, just to kind of show off their wall. Nothing's really changed here since we were the last time. Um, it is a really neat store in the Sandusky area. So if you guys ever go to like Cedar Point, um, definitely make this is a, a, a hop, skip and a jump away from Cedar Point. Um, but that's kind of it. Let's go back to the studio. As always, I start with my OK and then blah, blah, blah. So. We've got two boxes from Whatnot. Um, one is from our friends, uh, Nelson Manufacturer, MFG, right? Or Nelson, whatever. Uh, out in California, also known as Fugitive Toys. I bought this on their Grail night the other night. I'm hoping Aiden likes it. If not, it's going to my PC. But I kind of bought it for Aiden first. Let's see. He's had his eye on something else very similar. At least I hope that's what this one is. I even tell you what this nope. Is. Nope. I think you were actually sleeping when this one was on because they're in California. They run late. Oh. oh, this one's cool. This is the Mickey Mouse from Epic Mickey. Um, I played this game a decent amount when I was younger. Also, the second one. Um, the second one I think we owned, but the first one I think we had it's from yep. be like rented from the library all the time. Might be something <clears> like that. I so on the back of the box it shows Oswald and then Mickey. Oswald is the one you always see. Is it really harder to get? I on, I honestly have never actually seen this epic Mickey pop. This one's actually really cool. Forgive I me. Even been like looking at. It, yeah, this is cool. Forgive me if I'm wrong, guys. And maybe drop a comment below. But, I mean, have you seen this Epic Mickey with the paintbrush? You know, Oswald from that as well. I see that one a lot. But I have ne And you know I'm on Whatnot all day long. Like all the time. Like all the time. Like, well, I, I probably overpaid for it. I don't even know what PPG is. I don't think I want to look. I mean, guys. But you paid for it? That's probably pretty reasonable. Probably. Uh, it is a 2013 pop. September 20th. Wow, pretty close to your mom's birthday. Uh, yeah. Pretty neat. Um, I mean, it's a decade old pop. Yeah, it was $8.95 back then. I sure didn't pay $8.95, but that's okay. To go along with that, uh oh, I guess I only brought one knife. Thanks. To go along with that, kind of sticking with the theme, is another pop that I bought for myself, and I've actually had to sell one to buy this one. Um, and it kind of goes back to one of the pops we've had for such a long time that we got for free. Uh, but if you guys know me, and I know you do, you know that I love my flocked pops especially. Our cats are going crazy around here. Uh, and so I sold my regular version of this pop because I needed to have 
Yes. The flocked version of Doug. Um, although now, now I'm really liking the Kona Shame one. Mm. But uh, I think that's a really cool pop. Um, and I mean, Series 8, 2016 pop. Originally cost 15 bucks. I didn't pay much more than that, actually. No, I did. I take that back. Like, PBGs are going 30, 40 bucks. But interestingly enough, and I'll probably flash it here, PPG was currently, when I bought this, it's been sitting in a box for a couple days, weeks, actually, uh, waiting for this video. Um, at the time, it was cheaper to buy the flocked version than the common. Some people don't like flocked. Yeah, well, hey, that's the question of the day. Do you like flocked or not? I prefer not having flocked, but I think sometimes it can be mean. Yeah. Like if it's a dog, I think it makes sense. Yeah, a dog makes total sense. Okay. Uh, and then from there, you saw our. Um, yeah, isn't that cool? Well, now I want to get at the cookie again. <laughs> I have a wee. Yeah. Wee! What's next? Okay. What next? So you saw my hunt. Uh, I went out. I did this without Aiden. He didn't actually know I was going. And uh, I pre ordered these, but then I stopped in the store and I got a better deal. Mm, kind of miss, pisses me off. Mm. So we stopped over. Well, I stopped over to box lunch. I can see it from there. Oh, yes, go ahead. This is the upside down Spider Man with a hot dog. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think this is a fun one. Glizzy Spider Man. Yeah. Why? Why are we calling it Glizzy? It's a term people use for hot dogs. I just, I don't know. I guess that's the old age in me. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but I tell you what, box lunch exclusive, upside down. I mean, we're hot dog lovers. And honestly, well, he has his mustard on his. So say you're just a ketchup guy. Ketchup and cheese. Ketchup and a lot of cheese. If you ever have Aiden over, prepare for your cheese to go away. So, uh, but interestingly enough, okay, so I told you, so we're recording this on Friday. Actually, it'll go up, I'm uh, sorry, Thursday. It'll go up for Friday. I pre-ordered these or ordered them when they went live on their website and paid full price plus shipping. I go to the store and the guy's like, hey, you're a member, right? And I said, yeah, he plugs it in this little thing. And he goes, go pick up another one. I said, okay. And he goes, and then pick up something else. And I said, what do you mean? And uh, it worked out. I mean, I think I flashed it there. If not, I'm going to show it again here real quick. After discounts that they've got going on where their exclusive pops right now are on sale for $10, regularly $15.90. And then it's buy two, get one free. What the heck? What the heck? So I asked him, and so if you order it online and you want to go and get them even cheaper, because I got all three of these for $18.35, that's tax included. We are here in Ohio at a 794 percent <throat> but if you want to go do that you know he goes just come back in when you get your box bring them in he goes we're returning you get full refund and not nice. this price it's yeah. dire oh hi jane uh hey don't grab my coffee i forgot my coffee's back there team duncan uh so and then i just happened to swing by fye because I wanted to cancel my subscription. And the lady was trying to talk me out of it, talk me out of it, talk me out of it. And I was like, hey, what's that pop back there? And uh, she goes, oh, I didn't even see it back here. So because I checked their regular thing, I think I flashed the video. But I grabbed it really to resell. But they had the one piece. Now, it is the reprint. You would not find this in stores here. The original. Well, even she goes, she goes, I don't know when we got this or how we did it. And we're talking to the manager. But hey, it is what it is. Like last year, I got this in November. Yeah, and she said, "Because uh, I said, hey, is that the reprint or just out of curiosity? Is it the the a new new one?" And she goes, "What do you mean?" So I had to explain dates to her, and as she goes, "Well, how do you know?" And I said, "Just flip it over; you'll know exactly." I said, "You just look for the green box and then the blue box and then the dates." So I explained it to her. So hey, it is what it is. Not everybody's as cool as we are. <laughs> So that's it, folks. Uh, oh my gosh, no, it's not. Hello, anybody home? Hi, the fly thing. Thank you, Aiden. I stopped in at the exchange, and actually, I stopped in at two exchanges. I'm kind of going to merge them. You didn't need to know that. Uh, they're all really for Aiden. That one. Oh, I see. Well, open it up. 
This is Annie Edison from Community. Look at the price on her. Jeez. She's a $35 pop. Yeah. Minimum. I mean, all of these are expensive. Yeah. yeah. So what Aiden doesn't know, he didn't watch this yet, is I stopped in at Half Price Books, and they had uh, Daniel Glover. They had Troy. Yeah. He had it at $50. Okay. So now, okay. $50 isn't bad. Current PPG is $70. But the last six sales on eBay are $24. So I asked them, I said, hey, can you bring it down? I'll buy it right now. And she's like, let me go check with my boss. So she pulls somebody else. Nope, I can't. Blah, 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 blah. So she's like, well, let me go get the actual store manager. So like, I'm waiting around just dill daddle and looking at books. And she goes, no, that means she goes, it, this is computer generated. It's off of what we paid for it. And I go, really? You know, so they must have paid more than that to somebody trading in. It was probably whenever it was traded in, that was probably whatever the recent eBay value was. Yeah, I I was like, hey, I'll, I'm I'm a player. At, I'll pay thirty five. I'm not paying fifty for it. Yeah. You know, because the way PPG is a it is a guide. I'm actually thinking about getting those made as our stickers. Like PPG is a guide. <laughs> it's not exacts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I thought it was neat. And I thought it was a neat way for us to maybe start the line, you know? We'll see. We'll see. They're all very expensive. It'd be forever. Totally. They are, but it is a really cool show. And then, you know, us like, being a completionist, yeah. it's always fun. So what did you get? What else did you get? Or send me in for, I should say. Um, I think what order did you get? This is the Saitama from One Punch Man. Ooh. And then this. Another not cheap one. The Genos from One Punch Man. Sheesh. Yeah. 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 That's. Well, I was just not showing. Try not to show the top. Those the yeah. Don't show the top one because that is what we. We did pay up for them. Um, these are ones that are even harder. Uh, maybe not harder to find in the community, but hard to find. And you had wanted them. And because he's selling off part of his collection, we decided to do that. And that's the hard part. Um, once we start, you know, once we had such a big collection, it's like, well, what do you find? And it's yeah. like, well, then everything's the expensive ones, you know? Yeah, true. But it's still nice getting a brand new fun pop, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's pretty cool. I'm actually excited. I mean, it is a bobblehead, too, right? It is, yeah. it is a bobblehead. That is interesting. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. I got it out first try. No issues. Ooh, okay. Well, that's cool. There he is. Just a bobbling away. Don't kiss him because he's got mustard on his mouth. Just kidding. They should have done that. That would have been hilarious. Let me see. Nope. Nothing on the back little thing there. But ladies and gentlemen, that is Aiden. I'm Dan. We'll probably have to take a break on videos for a day or two because this weekend we are headed. Yeah. Headed. We are headed to Fan Expo here in Cleveland. Hopefully we get to meet a couple of you. Uh, Jeremy Collects is one of those. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah. And uh, Friday night, so tomorrow night is my Whatnot Con show. So if you're seeing this, I'm going to post this before that. Show up 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have, I have 10 pops that we're giving away, a hard stack, and a whole bunch of other little giveaways, let alone I have a goal of selling 100 pops on that stream. Sheesh. Sheesh. So come along. Be a part of it. That is Aiden. I'm Dan. We appreciate you guys. Have a great day. God bless. <laughs> I was mad. Like when I went in there, I was like, I said to the manager, I go, hey, why don't you post them on Instagram? He goes, uh, well, I figured South Park posted theirs. I didn't need to post mm. ours. And I go, I would have came yesterday, you know. Yeah. I go, did you get the Wolverine? He goes, no, we didn't get those ones anyway. So I go, okay. But, you know. So it was fun. Hot Topic had absolutely nothing. They got like, yeah. Um, and FYE, I just grabbed this to resell. Yeah. You know, it's one of those. Yeah. So at least ours. At least ours does. Yeah, it looks self -work. But hey, I got you your storm for five bucks. Mm -hmm. You know. Now you're like, eh, go ahead and sell it. I didn't really want it in the first place. Well, you did last time we were there. You had talked about it.
Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, $5.66. Yeah. So. Cool, cool, cool.